is too small, you can't raise the temperature, you can't turn the gas on high enough to get the temperature high enough in your kiln. It, it's like having too small of a motor or too small of a exhaust pipe for your motor. Let's say your mo the, the, the burner is the motor. You have oxygen in at the burner. You have two different ways to get oxygen into your kiln at the burner. One is the passive air, the air around the burner. How big a hole you cut. If you cut a hole this big on the side of your little raccoon kiln and your burner is about this big, guess what? You're going to get a lot of air going in. But if you cut the hole about this big and the burner is about that size, that's about right. You're getting air coming in around the burner. Primary air on your burner is that little valve that you can screw off in the back of the burner that draws air through your burner. That's your primary air adjustment. If you're still getting a flame shooting out of the kiln, you can screw this thing back open further so more air goes in. That flame should get a little bit smaller. If it doesn't come down all the way and you still can't get temperature, reach over there. Here's the kiln. Pull your burner away from the kiln a little bit and more secondary air will go in. If you cannot get temperature, let's say you have it just a little flicker of flame and you still can't go get the temperature up, you need to cut the hole in the kiln a little bit bigger. Most people start with too big a exit flue on their kiln. I usually start with a five, five inch, I take a, a yogurt container, turn it upside down on my fabric, trace it and cut that. That's usually just about right for a top hat kiln. The kilns I build are 24 inches tall, 24 inches uh, uh, diameter, and I have two layers of one inch fiber that gives me two inches off 24, two inches off 24. I've got 20 inches interior, two inches in the lid, so 24 inches tall. It's usually 24 inches high inside and 20 inches wide. And, a, and a, that yogurt container printed on there and you cut that out, that's usually just about right. If you have, when you first start to fire the kiln, you can go with a smaller opening in the exit flue. So if you want to, you can put a soft brick over that or a piece of kiln shelf and damper it back. But as the temperature goes higher and higher, you're going to want to open it up a little bit more, a little bit more, or you'll be pouring gas uh, flames out the top of the kiln. I just leave it alone. I don't damper mine at all. What I did is I've, I've got it tuned up where I've, I've made 30, 40 kilns, so I've kind of got my dimensions right. Um, but if you cannot get temperature and you've always got a flame going out and you've already adjusted the primary and secondary air down at the burner and you can't get it hot enough, you need to open up that hole a little bit more. So it will be able to have a large enough muffler to get rid of the gas that's that's going into the kiln. But usually it's the other way around. People start with too big of an opening. Okay, so when you're firing this kiln up for the first time, do it at night time so you can read the flames off the exit flue of your kiln. If you fire all the way to the temperature and you've never had a flame coming out the top of the exit flue, you've got too much air to be firing the most efficient. You haven't hurt anything, but you might be able to get a more even heat distribution by having less oxygen going in. So you get uh, maybe a little bit smaller flue at the top. So it pressurizes it just a little bit. Um, some raku firings, they uh, people feel like you really do need to have some reduction for some of the copper colors in the kiln. You want to be able to turn your gas up high enough so you can get some reduction. Reduction is reduction. You don't need this, again, this big oily billowing black smoke coming out of it to get reduction. People who fire high fire copper mats, um, you can get uh, a decent reduction without all of that going on. I'm, I'm not the person to ask how to because I don't fire the high fire copper mats, but some of the efficient people can get this same amount of reduction as the other people who are wasting a lot of fuel. Any questions? Yes. yes. I have a question. 
I use a, pro, a small propane tank. Yes. And I noticed by accident when I went to return the tank that they changed the size of the tank. And ever since they've changed it, I don't know if it has something to do with the pressure, that my glazes were not melting like they were. And I thought, well, maybe it was the way they mixed them or whatever. So could it, I mean, the pressure in the tank, does that, do you think that has any effect? Or are you dealing with a temperature, the same temperature? I don't use a parameter. I use I fire by eye. But okay, are you are you uh, are they getting glossy before you pull them? Sometimes, but sometimes it's taking really a long time, and it's just not much. The glaze isn't maturing, and I've never had this before. You know, and I've been doing it forever, and I just think. H have you changed? In, uh, have you purchased new chemicals? No. Same chemicals. Same chemicals. Same. I don't think you're reaching temperature. I, I don't think so now, the way you're talking. Now, you can change, uh, another way to change how much gas gets in the kiln is you can have the orifice on your burner drilled out a little bit larger. You can, you know, you take your burner apart and there's that little brass right. thing and you can find a drill bit that slips in and you just go to the next size and you can just take it by hand and just... So I need to add, put more air in, probably. Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's, this has to do with gas flow. Right. So... If, and it if could be the burner. Maybe, maybe not. Um, hard to troubleshoot from a long way away. Okay. So, any I'll other questions? Okay, if you have respirators, let's get them. And if you brought raccoon gloves, bring them. And let's go unload the can. Now, what I would like you to do is... Now, I'd like you to watch me go through the process with mine, and then, then you can go deal with yours. 